Hey Internet, so this is Vlogmas Day 15. If you didn't watch yesterday's vlog, it was a very busy day. We went to the YKLA Premium Outlets, which is one of my favorite outlets in the world. They just have really good stores there. They have an amazing Saks Fifth Avenue where I always just find really good deals. And they did have really good sales on because it was a Saturday, I think, partly. Um, so here's a bag from Saks Fifth Avenue. Most of what I got is from there, but I do warn you that I'm saving the best for last for this haul, so keep watching. We are going to start with shoes, because who doesn't like a good pair of shoes? And these are the shoes that I will be wearing for New Year's. In case you happen to live here, or it might be going on at every Saks Fifth Avenue right now, they had a buy one get one free deal on designer shoes, which is kind of amazing because I don't think I've seen buy one get one free anywhere other than Payless so that I could get that on a pair of coach shoes was pretty amazing these are gorgeous aren't they so these are from coach these will be my new year shoes they are just amazing they're really fierce but really flattering for cage shoes because they don't go up too high and they just have the most lovely feminine gold detailing they have a little zipper at the back they're made from suede and they're really comfy. I also love the detailing on them to the extent that they're lined with cobalt blue leather. Um, these are the most gorgeous coach shoes that I have seen in a long time and when you guys eventually see my New Year's outfit you will understand why they are a perfect match. So that's the first pair of shoes that I got. And then the second pair of shoes that I got is from Kate Spade. I've been loving what Kate Spade has been doing. They just are amazing at putting a twist on a classic. I even love the shoe box. So you can see that these are very, very simple shoes. They are traditional court style pumps with a round toe. They come down quite low, good amount of toe cleavage, nothing crazy. Um, they originally retailed for 300 and then of course I got the two pairs for 200 so pretty good deal and yeah these are just really nice quality they're made in Italy they have the leather soles but really their standout detail I don't know if you'll be able to see on camera because they essentially have a kind of iridescent stingray effect that makes them amazing for nighttime. I think especially in artificial lighting, they just catch the light and kind of reflect blue and green. Um, so they're really pretty, really unusual, and just a really good height for kind of day to night shoes. So I got a sweater from their black Saks Fifth Avenue cashmere line. So this is a 100% cashmere sweater. And if you've been watching me for a while, and especially if you've watched some of my office wear videos, you know that I have a slight obsession for black and cream color combinations. And so of course when I saw this, I had to have it. It was on a really, really good sale as well. I think it came down to $60, which for cashmere is really good. Um, hard to kind of show you on camera, but it almost looks like a cardigan when it's worn off, but it does close completely um, and just kind of scoop across your body with a little bit of ruching here at the waistband. This would look amazing with some skinny black trousers because it is quite slim cut and then it does have a black cuff as well. So very flowy, pretty, and just a really good midway between business formal and business casual in my opinion. The second sweater I got is definitely a little bit more business casual, but I think you can never go wrong with a really basic cowl neck cashmere sweater in a really pretty heather gray. And I'm making conversation as I turn this right side out because no one else did it for me at the store, which is okay. Um, so here it is. You can see a very traditional cowl neck. It's almost tunic length, which I really like because, again, then I can feel comfortable wearing some really slim cut trousers, which is, I think, what this would look best with because it is kind of a more generous cut. And it has some really nice ruching along the cuffs as well, which I love. And this was 60% off, um, so that was the probably the greatest sale that they had on that day in terms of percentage. I also hit up Banana Republic, which is a store that I had not shopped at in quite a while, but they do have some really good deals at the outlet in Banana Republic. So each of these dresses was less than $50. One of them I'm wearing, so you'll see that in the outfit of the day from today. And the other one is this one in this really gorgeous fuchsia magenta color. I think this is so gorgeous and unexpected for the holidays if you don't want to wear red. Just a really 
dark, rich pink like this is a wonderful choice. And it is lace all over and it's really slim cut. It for fits really, really nicely. And I just, I love lace. Um, I also find that short sleeve dresses are just really versatile because you can wear them in any season and layer them appropriately without worrying about wearing too much fabric. I did say I was going to save the best for last and I bought a new handbag. So I'm so, so excited about this bag. They actually had some really, really good sales going on at Michael Kors, which is rare. Even at the outlet, their bags are always quite expensive. And I saw this bag in the clearance section. It was 40% off. So that means that I got it for less than half price of what I would have paid in Canada. Quite a bit less than half price, actually. And I just think it's so gorgeous. It is a light kind of elephant gray, and it has rose gold detailing, which previously I thought was something that only Rebecca Minkoff did, but I'm just so happy to see this in a Michael Kors bag because I love the lines of their bags. I think they're very kind of mature looking, but still so versatile because you have the long strap with the chain that I really like. It doesn't look like a knockoff of any designer bag. I think it's really a classic unto its own. I've owned two Hamiltons in black and beige in the past. I still have them, still love them, and so excited to have a new one. I think it's a really great size as well. It's a little bit smaller than the Michael Kors large Hamilton because it's longer this way than this way, which means it won't be as much of a bottomless pit, although I do like myself a large bag, and like a large Hamilton, it has the two sections with the zipper in the middle, lots of phone pockets, and a zipper at the back, so really, really nicely organized handbag, and I'm so excited about this, so you will definitely be seeing this in outfits, maybe a what's in my bag video at some point, because we all know that I'm prone to doing those, so this is my new baby that I bought yesterday, and I'm very excited to show it to you, and that concludes, along with the outfit of the day you're about to see, this particular haul. Today's outfit of the day, we are going out for dinner tonight, since it's a pretty awful day. It's been raining all day and overcast, which kind of prevents the doing of anything fun. So instead, we are going to be eating some fun. Um, we're going to my very favorite steakhouse pretty much in the whole wide world. It's called BLT. I celebrated my 23rd birthday there, and I just love the food there. So I will show you some shots of the food. Um, but before we do that, I thought I would show you what I'm wearing. It is a very simple outfit, and it's essentially the conclusion of today's haul because this is a new dress. Um, definitely purchased with the office in mind, but I've kind of made it fun for today and I was kind of happy to have it in a way because I didn't really want to wear a strappy, super summery dress on an overcast, dreary Hawaiian day. So I've lit all three quarter sleeves and I just fell in love with the print. It's very kind of art deco and colorful and I love both of those things. So put together into a dress, it is a happy dress. It's also got a little scoop neck, which I like. And this is so funny. I was so confused when I saw the label when I got home because it said it was reversible and I couldn't understand because it's not fully lined. It's only lined at the top. So how could you honestly wear that inside out? And of course what they meant was that you can wear it back side front. So you can either wear it with a little bit more of a scoop neck or more of a high neck, which is actually really nice for the office. So to accessorize it very simply, I have some rose gold jewelry and my rose gold Rebecca Minkoff little bag. I'm probably going to switch into a bigger bag shortly though because there's just more that I want to carry around but for dinner tonight I will be sticking with this one and then for shoes you can see the rest of the dress also very simple lines I'm wearing some comfortable wedges from duo these are nice because they have a little bit of height so if it's a little wet on the ground it'll be fine they're a combination of suede and black leather and I love them just like I feel about all the other duo shoes and boots that I've gotten so also for jewelry I decided to kind of do a throwback and combine a few bracelets to kind of create a little stack so you can see I have my green malachite one, I have my gold bangle, my silver bangle, and then I have two of the Raksha detachable bracelets on because I just thought it would be fun to really add a pop of color to go with this really colorful outfit and both of these bracelets together have all of the colors of the dress and they have little 
charms dangling off as well. You can see there's a little seashell on the Aqua Raksha bracelet and a little leaf on the Terra Raksha bracelet. So that is it for today's outfit and I will see you guys at the steakhouse. So we're actually by the canal here. Pretty close to Waikiki, about five minutes away. And it's pretty much sunset. You can see the slightly pink sky. And I'm really hungry. Other restaurants serve you bread and butter. Here you get popovers and pate. <laughs> we have lobster cod salad with pancetta, blue cheese, lobster, and avocado. I got a cocktail. This is a Mai Tai BLT style, apparently. I take a sip. I don't know what the foam is from actually. It's really foamy. It's really good though. It honestly it tastes like a Shirley Temple. It does. It does. It doesn't. Okay. Hopefully you guys can see we're now at dessert. I'm so stuck. You know, wonderful meal as always, BLT. And we are finishing that meal off with a crepe souffle. It is a weird souffle crepe hybrid. It is the most delicious thing. It's passion fruit flavored. You can see it's in the shape of a crepe, but it tastes really light, like souffle. Anyway, we're about to take that in. That was also the dessert that I had on my birthday when we came here, and it is a favorite. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye!